Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sunny. And in this video, I am doing the weekly for February 22nd, 2016. For all zodiac signs, do not get used to this because I'm seriously not doing weeklies anymore on YouTube. I'm just doing this so that it can just get out the way because I really don't feel like typing. I don't. And yeah, I know I look a mess. Um... I'm really really tired and I want to go to sleep but I wanted to get the weeklies out the way thank you for everyone who was ordered a general and who has been patient I am going to give you guys a special treat if you waited for a really really long time like I'm going to give you a special treat for that because I really appreciate everyone um, I'm not trying to be funny like who hasn't emailed me every day asking when are they going to get their reading because my life is freaking busy YouTube is not my only lifeline okay i have other stuff going on in my life but let's get into this so i'm going to start out with virgo let's see what's going on for my virgos out there all right so for my virgos we're starting in i do feel like you need to be aware of something i feel like skeletons are coming out of the closet you are going to confess something or someone is going to confess something to you i'm picking up on gossip and betrayals with this um hidden agenda like i feel like someone is going to talk about something i'm picking up uh like through a phone call or gossip social media like communication something is being said and i feel like this is a secret uh, so do be aware of this because I feel like this has great negative like def um, effects to it. Um, I'm picking up on like someone is being hated after this or someone is you know being looked at differently whether it's you or someone else. Um, I'm also picking up that many of you like uh, you're thinking about bringing more income into your life. You're more business minded. You need to deal with your... I'm hearing insecurities, but I'm picking up the, like, I don't feel confident with saying insecure. Well, I mean, in a way, yeah. Many of you, like, I feel like you need to be careful of you doing things to, like, fill in voids. Kind of like you're insecure. It's kind of like an insecurity. It's like a clutch. Yeah, I feel like many of you, like, you're relying on clutches. Whether it's real, um, uh, real crutches or, like maybe you're drinking or overeating smoking i feel like you're trying to fill in a void some way somehow also be mindful of foolishness tying into the gossip and all that weird stuff okay so i'm picking up on some drinking issues for some of you like uh alcohol abuse or maybe this is someone around you um I do feel like you're going to be in your emotions a lot or someone around you is going to be in your emotions or it's going to be the in uh it's going to be in their emotions excuse me um so there's going to be like skeletons coming out of the closet someone's gossiping someone is spilling some tea some serious tea and I feel like it's just it's not going to be good like it, there's going to be some hatred after this is what I'm picking up on or like if you explode and like you let your emotions get the best of you i just feel like others are going to look at you like you're crazy or you're abusive or you need help i'm thinking that there's some of you like you do need to talk to somebody you may be dealing with someone who is very hard to read during this time or maybe others feel like you are hard to read especially if you are being to yourself and showed in um, I'm, I'm just picking up on some false energy, some lies and deception. Someone isn't being truthful. Someone is playing mind games and they're being really, really mischievous. You may be dealing with the water sign during this time, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This may be their sun, the moon, and other rising. I'm picking up that this person, like, there's some sort of greed with this person or... And I feel like this person, like, they may be um, a, um, an air sign as well. Aquarius is Gemini's Libras. Maybe they're born near the cults. But, um, th like, there's greed with this person. Uh, shady business. They aren't being honest with how they feel. Okay, so this week is really, really weird. Um, broken promises, betrayals. So many of you, like, either you're letting the cat out the bag or you're spilling the beans you're sipping some tea some hot scowling tea honey and it's just a lot of drama i'm picking up a lot of drama 
with this week okay really interesting how the cards are set up because both the seven of swords and the five of swords are looking at the king of cups so i do feel like you guys need to be mindful of your emotional side and uh you're bottled in anger because that may come out at the wrong place at the wrong time or you may um tell your business to the wrong person okay i feel like some of you like maybe like there's a telephone call or like you're going to social media to fill in voids i do feel like you need to be careful about that one also there may be some broken promises with the water sign and or an air sign or someone who you seriously cannot read um i do feel that many of you like you are going to feel as if you are struggling or you're fighting the battle on your own i really do feel like you need to control your emotional side but the overall theme for you guys sacrifice really interesting okay so i feel like you need to be mindful of your emotions and i feel like you need to let things that you've been holding on to go and i feel like this is more within your emotional side and allow for people to walk out of your life like don't hold on to them whether it's friends family i do feel like there's someone who you've known for a very long time this may be a brother this may be um um, a co-worker, manager, partnership, whatever the case may be. But I'm picking up that this is someone who you have known for a really, really long time. But I feel like, you know, shit happens and you just got to let them go. I mean, it is what it is, to be honest. But just know that with each sacrifice, there's happiness at the end of the rainbow, okay? But let's see what's going on for my Libras. I had to think, who was next? <laughs> Okay, so my Libras, I do feel like this is going to be a really good creative time for many of you. I'm thinking on unexpected changes with some of you. So there may be some births, maybe some unplanned births, maybe some unplanned joy. Um, something that you thought would not go your way is actually turning um, in your favor. Um, I'm picking up on unexpected joy, unexpected happiness, um, a stern foundation, stability within something and i'm picking up that is causing for you to think long term um i'm picking up on like security and rejoice with security some of you like maybe you need to connect with your mother um or connect with the feminine sides of you i do feel like you need to be careful of um overspending and you paying more attention to luxurious things during this time because that may be your downfall as well. I'm also picking up that you need to be mindful of your indulgence. Like, I feel like there's a lot of heavy, greasy type of foods that you may be consuming during this time. And I'm picking up that, um, like, your tummy, like, you're gaining weight. Okay, so be mindful of that. Okay. I uh, be careful of you being too much into your head. I do feel like there may be some um problems sleeping. I feel like many of you like you are in love with someone or maybe you want to be maybe you want to be in love, but I'm picking up on some issues when it comes to love cuz out of nowhere um if you are familiar if you are familiar with Corinne Bailey Ray, the song Trouble Sleeping, I think that's what it's called. But the line that popped into my head was don't say that I'm falling in love. So many of you like you may be like, Oh my god, do I really love this person? Am I missing this person? I feel like there may be some sort of obsession over someone or you may be too giving with your energy or like you're just like thinking of this person and like you wish that they would call or you find yourself calling them first and maybe you feel like like you feel like things are a bit one-sided okay so that may be um a bit of a downfall for some of you but i'm picking up that many of you like this is going to be a really good time for you to face your fears uh be careful of anxiety yeah when it comes to like if you find yourself overeating with like really heavy foods or sweets and cakes and stuff like that then i feel like subconsciously like you you feel hurt you you want to feel complete you want to feel full so you're looking for food um to give you comfort okay so be mindful of what it is that you're trying to um fill up on if that makes sense like are you trying to be full of love full of money full of laughter full of happiness like what are you trying to consume subconsciously because you are replacing it with food or clothes or you're chasing after someone so snap out of that okay especially if it's one-sided 
Okay, so I feel like this is going to be... Mm, I'm picking up this reverse. I really, 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 really am. Um, many of you, like, you're repeating patterns. I feel like you're... Like, second chances are coming back for many of you. Like, you're going to be able to, like, redo something. Um... It's not too late to try again is what I'm picking up on the most. So maybe some of you, you are getting back with an ex-lover or you're thinking about getting back with an ex-lover or maybe an ex-lover is thinking about getting back with you. Um, maybe you want to do things differently again. I'm picking up that some of you like you're, you're moving or like your job is calling you back, like they want you back. Um, maybe you're going back to school. I'm picking up that like you're doing something again. But I'm picking up that you have great knowledge this time. Like you're more understanding of the consequences this time. Um, but I do feel that some of you, like you are repeating things. So just, you know, be mindful of what it is that you are repeating. Um, I do feel like some lessons learned with this, like hard lessons. Um, you may feel as if your life is like kind of tough. Or maybe you feel as if you can't catch a break during this time. Um, but I'm picking up like when one door closes another one opens so you must be mindful of that open door and really close the one that needs to go away overall thing for you guys for this week universe okay really really cool so I do feel like things are happening to you for a reason and you are gaining some sort of abundance and greatness during this time but I'm picking up that you must be aware um, of yourself and things that's going on within the universe and your surroundings. I feel like you need to pay attention to signs. Yeah, like you seriously need to pay attention because like there's so many signs that your God and your angels are giving you that you seriously like need to pay attention to and I feel like it's going to be like the weirdest craziest signs like so don't I feel like also like don't be inside all day like I feel like you need to be outside okay and explore life understand what's out there for you I feel like there's new things out there for you if you're willing to explore and if you're willing to like try something new this is gonna be a really good time for you guys to try something new all right so let's see what's going on with my Scorpios All right, I'm picking up off the gate. Some of you, like, you're feeling like you're a third wheel. Um, some of you, there's happiness with partnerships. There's celebration. There's You're joining forces with someone. I feel like um, it, something is being split in threes or, like, you have to go through a third party to get to something. Or, um, like I said earlier, like, you feel like the third wheel. I do feel uh, some of you, like, you will make some friends during this time. Um, uh, there's celebration, there's happiness, there's fulfillment. I feel like you you are understanding something a bit more. Like when it comes to family, maybe you're seeing, excuse me, maybe you're seeing who's really there for you family wise, or maybe you're like, oh dang, I, I fucked up. I should have been uh, there for my family, like when my family needed me, or when someone needed me. Because I feel like you're trying to reach out to some to somebody. Or somebody's trying to reach out to you because they are understanding that, that uh, they messed up. And I feel like someone is feeling unwanted. Like if you're reaching out to someone who you have been really mean to, I feel like this person, like they aren't really answering your calls or you have to go through someone to communicate to this person. I feel like some of you, like you want a pity party. And you want people to hear your side of the story. And I feel like the person who you need to talk to, like either they are avoiding you or you are afraid to talk to them. But I'm picking up that like people, like there's some gossip and people are like added into the equation. Like, like, like either you're going to someone and you're saying, yeah, this person, they're treating me this way or the, someone else is talking this way about you. Okay. Um, but on the brighter side, like I said, um, happiness and celebration with real friends and family. But you may feel like the third wheel. I keep picking up on like odd thirds for some reason. 
Okay, um, I feel like there's going to be some trouble with communication. I feel like you need to be mindful of your anger and you jumping into conclusions. I do feel like there may be some separation or breaks or some tension when it comes to communication and, um, like with family, friends, relationships, whatever the case may be. Like, I'm picking up that, like, you want to, like you're charging into something like you want to be known you want to be heard you want people to know how you feel but i feel like you're doing this the wrong way or you're doing it at the wrong time i feel like for some of you like it's too late like if if you've really been ignoring your responsibilities or like now you want a pity party and you want someone to hear you out i feel like it's too late because i'm picking up that like people are seeing your true colors people know the truth okay but I, um for some of you i feel like you just need to be careful of your communication you may be dealing with an air sign during this time um aquarius is gemini's and libra's and this may be their sun the moon and other rising i i feel like with this you may need to like move away from this person okay i feel like some of you like you're trying to save something but it's already gone like that boat has sailed so that's really really interesting okay i feel like with this there's a compromise like you want to be heard um you want people to be on your side maybe you're trying uh, to get people on your side i do feel like ha like another good thing partnerships um and relationships for some of you okay i'm reading for a lot of scorpios so if this seems kind of wishy-washy i'm reading for thousands of scorpios okay this is a general ass reading all right um happy note i do feel that maybe some of you like you're getting a new job or you're getting a partnership or a promotion or you're starting a relationship maybe um you are starting a relationship with a mutual friend of a friend um or maybe you went out and like you met someone and like you felt as if they were like your soulmate or your twin flame but do be careful of you rushing into relationships okay and rushing into agreements and partnerships without reading the fine print i do feel like that someone is trying to bamboozle you honey when it comes to connections and joint custody or joint like joining something okay if you are thinking about um joining a like banking account with uh your partner i feel like you need to be be cautious of that i feel like even if you are married everybody should have their own banking account like i don't know it's it's, it's just me hopefully i don't feel the same way but i don't know i just find it weird when people like couples have like a joint banking account i don't know i don't know maybe it's because i'm a capricorn and i and i like my money but anywho <laughs> um but with this i feel like there's a lack of compromise for a down note like there's a lack of compromise like you want to be heard you want to be known but i feel like you're doing it the wrong way i feel like some of you you need to be mindful of the way that you communicate i feel like like you know it's just too late for something okay so that kind of sucks or maybe you just need to be careful of someone who's saying trust me trust me like you you need to trust me okay i feel like you need to be cautious of people like that also take care of your health okay um, I do feel that some of you, like you may be joining a club, like a membership, a gym membership. Maybe you're joining some sort of club. So that's interesting. Um, I do see some traveling delays. I do feel like many of you, like you may be um, traveling to meet partners or friends, whatever the case may be. I'm also picking up on some car issues. But I feel like if you if you do stumble upon some issues, like while you're traveling to meet people, I do feel like people will be willing to help you out. So that's really good. The overall theme. Memories of love. Okay, so I feel like many of you, like you're thinking about past love or you're thinking about when things were right or you're thinking about, damn, I really messed up. Um... So maybe like you're trying to get back with a partner or like whatever the case may be. And I feel like this person, like they don't really want you anymore. Or like you're trying to reach out to someone and they're like, look, talk to my mom if you want to talk to me. Like or or go or like they're at, like they're avoiding your cause. OK, and I feel like you're reminiscing on love. 
I feel like with this, you just like you just need to let stuff go sometimes. Like if you know that the person doesn't want you anymore, then like you just need to let it go. But I feel like, you know, like there's a memory. It's like you're still connected to someone who was a twin flame or soulmate to you. And I feel like you're really thinking about um, all that has happened within a relationship and it's getting you down. But let's see what's going on for my Saggies. Alright, so some of you, like, you're moving, um, whether it's to a new location or you're moving away from something that has hurt you. I feel like some of you, like, something is drawing you back in to something. Like, maybe it's memories. Maybe someone is, like, clinging on to you or, like, you're clinging on to someone else. Because I feel like you, you aren't allowing for something to fully end. Okay, I feel like something needs to be resolved, like something needs to be put to rest, but it's like unfinished business. I feel like honestly, this whatever it is that you're dealing with, I feel like this is a cycle that's ongoing and I feel like this is something involving love or things that you're still holding on to. Maybe this is... Um, uh, like I said, past love. I don't know if I said this, honey. I see a lot of shit. I don't remember. Maybe, like, you're still holding on to past lovers. Maybe you're still holding on to um, toxic ways of yourself, whether it's emotions or you're clinging on to something. You're being passive-aggressive. You're being too aggressive. I feel like, you know, like, this could have been resolved and this should have been done and over with. But either you're, either you're still allowing for shit to come back or someone is just like still pulling you closer to them. I feel like you aren't able to escape, but you need to. You seriously need to get away from this drama or this toxic torment. Okay? With this, I feel like they're going back to the past or... So, like you're trying to save someone or you're trying to help someone who has hurt you, who's betrayed you. Or someone is rushing you into doing something or they're, they're trying to say, hey, you, you need to make up your mind with something. This may be another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this, this may be their sun and moon. I know they're rising. I feel like this person, they're really feisty. They're blunt. I'm picking up that they're kind of, they're kind of um, chubby. Um, they have a little meat on their bones. And I'm picking up that, like, they're really, really feisty. Um, I feel like this person, they just have a lot going on. And I feel like they want to be heard. But I feel like they're doing things for the wrong reasons. Or, like, they're trying to compete with something. and Or they're trying to make you feel bad. They're trying to make you look bad. So, please be cautious of this energy. However, if this is you, I feel like you need to be mindful of your goals during this time. I feel like you keep going back or like you keep reminiscing on the past. It's like you're rushing. I feel like um, if you are traveling, make sure you wake up on time. I suggest that you pack your bag a day before you go off. Like if you have to fly or if you're driving or if you're on a plane um whatever the case may be train honey because i feel like you're going to miss something because you either you're procrastinating or you're nervous or you're overlooking things or you're letting things stress you out and get to you i feel like you're missing something and i feel like this is involving traveling because you're rushing I feel like with this, you're trying to think of the future and you have high hopes for the future, but there's unfinished business with your past that you need to let go. With this, money is coming in. Like, you guys are, this is for some of you. Either you got a new job or you're moving into a new land or you're moving for, um, you're moving for money. But I'm picking up that money is coming in. I'm picking up on reward, satisfaction. But I'm picking up that like you're worried about finances. Some of you, you're worried about finances. You're like, oh, what if I'm not, what if I don't make enough? What if I don't have enough? I feel like you shouldn't stress about 
about this because financially you will be good I'm also picking up on savings like you need to save um, I'm also picking up on donation maybe you want to donate to something I'm also picking up that like you want to pay something off you want to pay someone or maybe someone is saying hey you owe me money or you have to do this for me you have to do that for me or someone is saying or maybe you feel this way like something is I want something to be split I want something to be even like an even share of something this may be like relationship and your partner is like hey like this should be 50 50 I'm tired of taking you out to eat all the time or I'm tired of buying you stuff all the time um and I feel like you don't feel good enough or like you feel like you are using them or you feel like um you are a clutch to them because you don't have the money or um they're doing more for you I feel like there's a competition with finances or like a relationship like someone is competing and that's a hot ass mess if somebody is doing that I also feel that some of you like you're feeling as if you aren't getting anywhere and you aren't getting any pro progress going on okay the, the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles is looking in the past direction they're both looking at the eight of cups so I do feel like many of you like you you need to find out what the fuck is going on with this past situation and why you're still clinging on to it why you're still depressed why you feel burdened why you feel upset understand why okay before you really move into the future direction all right because i feel like you're butting heads or it's just like you're going head first in a brick wall but i feel like you're doing this to yourself overall theme for you yes oh my god disruption this is the tower card in the right of way but like with this it feels as if like he's like clutching on i feel like you're trying to save yourself or you're trying to save someone from falling apart maybe you feel as if you're falling apart apart you feel as if things are just going everywhere and just they're crazy but i'm picking up that like you're doing this to yourself okay or like i'm picking up that there's some unexpected changes there's something unexpected coming into the picture or things that you weren't ready for is is coming in or it's something coming in and i feel like this is due to a past person or a past situation or a past action that you are allowing to happen i feel like many of you like you need to put your foot down with something whether it's to yourself or with someone else you you need to be really really strong as this little brick wall that he's trying to form into and i feel like you need to just like be really assertive with someone who's pushing you over or someone who's making you feel as if you aren't good enough because you you can't afford something or because you aren't doing things that they're doing okay but let's see what's going on for my cat Okay. Hey, alrighty. So, I feel like with this, you have an ultimatum going on. You have two choices. I feel like you need to be mindful of your trademark. For some of you, maybe you're trying to branch off and do your own thing. Maybe you're trying to create your own thing. Um, I feel like you need to be mindful of your direction. Where are you going? What do you want to do? What do you want to pursue? Um, I feel like there's some delays for some of you, but I'm picking up that you're pushing through. Many of you like you're pushing through uh, some self torment. You're doing things to yourself. I feel like you're traveling to new things. You're thinking about doing things, but I feel like you need you need to be mindful of your control you need to learn how to steer you need to learn how to drive like the chariot card i feel like many of you like you need to remain in your cart and control the horses instead of you jumping out of the cart and you're trying to beat the horses okay everything like you you need this whole transformation you need your horses you need your cart okay in order for you to like really steer things through hopefully you you get what i'm saying I'm half I'm half tired, so if I don't make sense, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But uh, okay, let me try to explain this. I feel like you need to be mindful of. I I said this for your mid monthly. I think I did. Like you need to be mindful of your 
resources and use them properly like you have your car you have your you have your horses for a reason you can't like you can't not use them you have them right there they they need you and you need them okay so be mindful of how you use things um i feel like many of you like you're going to have to break through something and do things um to the best of your ability but i'm picking up great determination and great stamina and control with this card. I'm picking up the key to success is through hard work. Okay, so I feel like you need to be mindful of adjust, adjusting things and balancing things out. I feel like you need to be more flexible. You need a routine. I set all of this for your um your monthly. You need a routine. I feel like many of you like you need a cleansing. You may be thinking about going on a spa or a retreat. Or maybe you're taking more baths more. I feel like there's a flow within something. Um, maybe your body needs flow. Maybe you need more water. Um, yellow is going to be a really pretty color for many of you. Because I just thought about the color yellow. Yellows and whites are going to be really, really pretty. Tying into springtime. Maybe you're ready for springtime. But I just feel like with this, like, cleansing, okay, uh, making ends meet, I feel like you need to be mindful of where you're putting your energy into as well. I'm also picking up that, like, you need, uh, you need to get up early in the morning. I feel like you need to um, just be mindful of enjoying life. Like, getting up and being grateful is what I'm picking Like, really grateful, like, gr um feeling some sort of gratitude just like came over me like when you wake up thank your god and your angels for waking you up say that you're thankful for all that you have um i feel like with some of you relationships can be kind of weird for some of you during this time i feel like there may be a third party or something gets off balance something gets off whack for some of you um for others i'm picking up that something is becoming a parent you are you are um, aware of something whether it's aware of lies or negativity but I feel like you are more understanding of your needs and you're more understanding of others needs um, I will say this be mindful of your mood swings and anger during this time okay so many of you like you may be going through a retreat or like you want to relax or you just want to like oh my god like maybe you just want to sleep <laughs> so I get to this first card like you just want peace and you just want to relax oh, you want to break um, this is gonna be a really good time for you to delve into the power of prayer and also be patient with yourself and be patient with others like I said earlier like please control your mood swings um, I'm also picking up that many of you like you need to put something to rest like something is dying off or something is dead um, I'm picking up that many of you like you're shedding you're you're allowing for things to leave out of your life like there's less worries less uh, less complications if you allow for things to die off this may be people this may be ideas um, but I'm picking up that like you need to be mindful of your security many of you like you feel more secured but i heard that like this isn't lasting long if you like if you do something wrong this won't last long so i feel like you you may need to control your spending or like you need to be mindful of where you're putting your energy into or like be mindful of the things that you wish for or like be mindful of like your direction within life and your journey because like if you just do things out of greed or if you are if you're continuously off balance or off whack it's going to throw you in this weird like mental overload kind of feeling and you may explode i'm picking up the like if you explode or if you just like oh my god take your anger out on the wrong person it's going to be bad karma for you so be cautious of those issues going on but overall theme hope have hope and faith that everything will work itself out understand that your guardian angels are 
letting things happen for a reason. It's all about growth. It's all about your journey. It's all about strength, okay? Kind of similar to the temperance energy. Like, have faith in your God or your angels. Like, show appreciation. Show um, gratitude that, like, you are happy. You really can't see this, but, like, the light is... um is a uh, images of like people holding hands and like in the center like there's this big image of a person like they have their arms kind of spread out so i do feel like this is your divine god and angels and people who are praying for you um for you to like push yourself through i honestly feel like hard work will come from your hands or it will come from like you know like you really pursuing things so, I feel like, you know, you're going to be alright. Just be mindful of your attitude. But let's see what's going on from my crisis. Okay, so for some of you, there's some disappointments. Um, It's like you aren't getting your point across or... You feel as if you have to work harder to get something or something is being added into the equation and you're just like, uh-uh. I feel like some of you, you're, you're just focusing on the bad of a situation or like you're just disappointed in yourself or you're disappointed in someone else. I'm picking up on like regrets. Like you may say something that you may regret. Oh my God, I just want to get comfortable. Do be careful of your words during this time okay um i'm also picking up that like you should see the brighter things within life i'm picking up that like something came out the bag too soon maybe it's something that you've been planning on like someone told maybe there was like a surprise party and now it's not a surprise anymore <laughs> um i just feel like things that you like wanted to wait it's like you wanted something to wait or like you aren't ready for some sort of growth and you're just seeing the negative in it or it's just like things are happening too fast and it's just like it's really really weird i'm also picking up that you are insecure with something i'm picking up that many of you like you are gaining blessings in the skies and things are happening for a reason but you are just seeing them as burdens and obstacles okay so Blessings in the skies, all right? Just keep that in mind. With this, I'm picking up on mystery. Your intuition is on guard. You do not trust someone during this time. You feel like someone is trying to sabotage you or someone is envious of you or someone is saying some, like, they're throwing some shade at you. Like, they're trying to be sneaky with their shade, but you can... You detect that is that is very very shady. Okay, I feel like whoever this is, like they're throwing like friendly low blows at you, but you're you're catching the hint. I feel like you need to be cautious of this person because this person is very jealous of you. I'm also picking up on some arguments and some dis and some disagreements with um. Another female or someone who was just like really shady. This person, she may be a Pisces, a Leo, or a Gemini. Maybe a Scorpio, to be honest. And and those may be their sun and moon and are their rising. I feel like this person, like they have a lot going on, or like they aren't getting what they want to be honest and they're like taking it out on you or like they see that you're doing good or they see that you're really really happy and they're like mm. it's just like bitter energy with this person but i do feel like you need to be mindful of things coming to the light mysterious energy is surrounding you and some of you like you feel like mm -mm, something isn't right something is off but i feel like this is your radar your intuitive radar you got your little antennas <laughs> excuse me you have a little antennas up and this is your intuition saying hey detect 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 alert alert and you need to be aware of some suspicious energy 
Uh, but also, I feel like you need to pay attention to your dreams and important messages that are around you and the things that you hear. And be mindful of the things that you say. So I get to the Five of Cups. I also feel that many of you, you are going to have some sort of magic power. Because I just heard magical powers activate. <laughs> I really heard that. So maybe you're going to be able to read minds. Maybe you're going to be able to um, have the energy of, oh, I wish this person would call me. And then like five minutes later they call you. Or like you want to have the energy to like get what you want. But I'm picking and uh, and I'm picking up that like you are going to be able to do something and it's like some sort of like spiritual kind of energy and you're going to have some cool magical powers for the time being. So that's really really interesting. Also, get out of your head. Okay, yeah. So there's some jealousy and envious going on, especially at work. I'm picking up. Like, someone has too much pride. This may be you or someone else. Um, I'm picking up that, like, you're, you're getting some sort of recognition or someone is saying really nice things about you, whether you are around or not. And I'm picking up that, like, someone is like, okay, well, I can do better or everyone else does that job, too. Like, I feel like it's just, like, someone is throwing you under the bus or someone is telling something about you like it's just some weird and this might be for school as well but I'm also picking up on a brighter note that like you're more headstrong you're more determined I feel like you need to be thankful though and I talked about like you need to be more thankful and you need to accept your um, awards and you know like you just need to be appreciative of what's giving to you okay um so please be mindful about that stop being so damn humble and just like oh i i don't want that i can't i can't accept this stop okay because that people can be like bitch really okay <laughs> so because i feel like people like they're taking some people like they may find you a bit stuck up and arrogant yeah you may rub people the wrong way during this time as well so that's really really interesting but brighter note, I do feel like many of you like you're moving into a really good, bright and stable, beautiful path. Overall theme for you guys. Oh, I just said that. Um, recognition and reward. So many of you, you are getting some sort of reward. So that's really, really, really cool. And you are being honored and glorified. Okay, so all eyes, all eyes on you. They are going to be on you this week. <laughs> and I feel like you're going to have to be able to accept it. All right. I'm picking up really positive energy from this. So you are going to get some side eyes and some evil energy and some evil stares. But I mean, it is what it is. If they worked as hard as you, they would have your prize too. So, boop. Let's see what's going on for my prizes. Happy birthday to all my Pisces celebrating the birthday today. Hopefully it's fun. <laughs> oh, cool. So many of you, you are celebrating your birthday this week. And you're eating some good cake. And you're celebrating with friends and family. And maybe your boo. Okay. Some of you, you may be starting a relationship this week. Um, Because I, I saw hearts and I saw kissing and like, oh my God, I love him. I love her. Um. I feel like some of you, like, you're more, if you are single, like, you are more understanding of what you want. Like, you are not settling for less. I feel like this is applying to 70% of you, okay? Like, you know what you want. You aren't backing down. You aren't giving the, you aren't giving people the benefit of the doubt. Like, you aren't sleeping with, per, you aren't sleeping with people, even if they're like, hey, I like you. I, I want to, you know, I want to be with you. But in order for us to be together, like, we have to be intimate. Like, you're like, I'm not falling for that bullshit, okay? You're really, really wise because you know what you want. And I feel like if you are meeting new people and if you're, like, mingling, like, you're going to know instantly, like, mm -mm, this person, they aren't good. I, I just see them as being my 
talking, texting friend. Oh, this person, they're cool. I see them being in my life for a good while. I feel like you are more aware of people and the roles that they will play within your life. I'm also picking up that you are preparing for something, whether it's um, maybe you're getting ready for your party, um, you're getting ready for a new home, a new foundation, maybe you're getting ready for school. I'm picking up that like like uh, a wedding or graduation, but I'm picking up that some of you like you're getting ready for spring, like spring break. Some of you like you're thinking about going to the beach. I heard pa Panama, was it Panama? I heard Panama. Um, so that's really, really interesting. I, I'm also picking up that some of you, you may go to the beach at the wrong time. Like it may be really, really cold or rainy. So that kind of sucks. So I guess, you know, be aware of the weather if you are going out of town to um, a tropical or beachy area. Hey, for 30% of my Pisces, I do feel like some of you, like you're being in la la land when it comes to relationships. You're just, you, you're just like putting your all out there, honey. Be careful about that because some people, they may see you as naive and gullible and they will just eat you up in a bad way, okay? Um, and most of picking up on unexpected pregnancies for some of you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there may be some unexpected pregnancies or like unexpected issues or like something that's out of your control. Okay, so you may find that, you know, things may not go your way this week. So like I said earlier, like maybe you are going on vacation and like the weather is weird or you have some issues with your um, your car or issues with your finances. Maybe you overspent and you're like, oh, I got a thousand dollars in the bank. But like when you try to buy something, your your car just declined. And when you check your banking account, it's just like five dollars. And you're like, what? Okay, I'm picking up on just weird, unexpected changes for some of you. But on a brighter note, I'm picking up that like if you've been having a weird time and like things have been really, really weird or if you've been lazy, I'm picking up that things are being shaken up within your life and like maybe you're traveling more, you're seeing brighter days, you're seeing um, like you're more understanding of your new foundation or a new pathway or a new mindset. Please be careful of you. Um, I heard procrastinating and also um, be careful of your anger. This card is a representation of a male's penis. And um, some of you, please be, please be cautious with sexual relationships, okay? Okay, so you may discover some past people are trying to come back within your life. Um, I'm picking up that maybe just recently like there was an argument with a past lover. I feel like that someone is being nosy or someone was nosy. Someone tried to offer you something. Once again, please be careful of you being naive and gullible when it comes to love. This puppy love. You just googly eyed over somebody. And like you give this person your all. You give this person your body. And then three days later or three weeks later, they're like distant. And you're like, oh my God. I, I gave this person my all. Why aren't they talking to me no more? The honeymoon phase was over. Okay? I feel like you, you need to be mindful of the cupcake honeymoon phase. And, you know, wait for things to settle out. Wait for that excitement to dull down. And really see if this person is really interested in you. Because people, like with new relationships, it's new, it's fresh, it's fun. You're meeting somebody new. You don't know this person. And then, like, when you're around them for... Uh, a certain amount of time it gets boring sometimes or you're understanding that like this person is too arrogant and too too weird and you're just like uh -uh, I don't want to waste my time with you anymore so don't put your all into something just yet like really wait stuff out okay um the angels are, they, they told me like for some reason they are saying like wait two or three months to like really think about you know doing something with this person if not longer um, I'm picking up that many of you, like you are getting ready for spring or spring break, whatever the case may be. I'm picking up that, uh, some of you, like there's, um, I feel like you need to love yourself though. Like instead of you loving others, you need to show that love to yourself. This is honestly a really good week for you to like, just really appreciate yourself, 
appreciate your foundation understand this breakthrough understand that nothing is in your control this week because you are you are learning a really important lesson and i do feel like if you are understanding of this lesson then you are going to gain some sort of really good reward from your god and your angels overall theme for you yes fulfillment of wishes so i do feel like once you really allow for things to settle out and you'll be patient with things like you are going to get what you're wishing for if you haven't gotten that already i believe this is the nine of cups in the right away deck i think so i feel like honestly like you just need to go with the flow you seriously just need to go with the flow i also feel like many of you like you may attract a lot of younger people or children during this time but i'm seeing some accomplishments and some celebrations but you just need to be mindful of like you can't control everything okay but let's see what's going on for my aries okay so many of you like you're moving on from something you're trying your best to heal from something i do see some traveling delays i see delays when it comes to like moving on from relationships maybe you're thinking about someone or someone is thinking about you it's like you want to get to the next step but you can't move forward because something is blocking you or maybe you're blocking yourself I feel like you you seriously need to take this time to like understand what you want and understand what you need. But I feel like you need to be mindful of your actions during this time because your actions are affecting others around you. <sighs> Excuse me. Um I also feel like some of you like you're clinging on to an idea or you're clinging on to somebody or somebody is clinging on to you and maybe you're like, "Girl, get on." Or maybe this other person is just like, bye, please leave me alone. And I just feel like you're just like holding on to that piece of thread. And like, it's just like, girl, just let it break. Just just let it go. Because it's like, as soon as you let it go, it's just like, Loop. and everything just falls down. And like, that person goes away, you go away. I just feel like you're just still clinging on to something or someone or maybe an idea. And it's just time for you to release it. I'm picking up blessings in the skies, blessings from your divine God and angels. I feel like you need to be careful of you being impatient. Be careful of someone trying to pull the wool over your eyes, someone trying to give you false hope and false energy, or maybe you're doing this uh, to someone else, or maybe you're doing this to yourself. I feel like some of you, like, you are just, just acting dumb. And it's like you... You know it's not right. You know this person isn't right. You know this person is cheating. Either you know you're cheating. You know somebody isn't being good. Or like this idea. Or whatever the case is weird. And it's just like. You, you're still following through with it. Like you, you're still trying to get it. I feel like this is applying to like. 60% of my rams do be careful of you trying to fight for somebody or whatever the case may be and like it's just a lot of drama going on okay and if you really don't want nobody don't keep chasing or don't allow for this person to chase after you and lead somebody on okay but I feel like you just seriously need to be mindful of your emotional side. Some of you, you may find love this week or someone is going to offer you something. This may be business, um, love. Just make sure it's genuine. You may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This may be their sun and moon. And at the rising, I'm picking up the like, an angel is coming through for you. Many of you, like, you're going to have a lot of guardian angels around you. And they're trying to give you messages or they're trying to protect you. They're trying to let you know that you need to be aware of something. So just pay attention to great signs that surround you. But um, I feel like you just need to be mindful of, like, somebody leading somebody on. 
or like you putting your energy into a false dream or something that isn't going to grow properly okay I feel like something is being forced um also this is gonna be really good time for many of you to be creative and handle your problems think outside the box you may have a lot of admirers this week as well I feel like you need to be wise with your decisions and you need to be wise with your choices and you need to be like concrete with what it is that you want some of you like you maybe have asking something or you're like pussyfooting around like one minute you're into somebody then the next like you don't know what you want figure out what the fuck you want okay because this is confusing to yourself and to your guardian angels and to other people some of you you may feel as if you're dealing with someone who is like a brick wall you can't read them I do feel like someone is avoiding you during this time or maybe you're avoiding someone during this time you may be dealing with an um, air sign Aquarius is Gemini is Libra this may be their Sun and Moon and other rising I feel like this person that you, you may be dealing with someone who wants to help you or they're giving you advice but I'm picking up that they want something in, in return eventually like they're gonna want something or like maybe the words are too 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 blunt I'm picking up on like you can't handle the truth you can't handle something and this person like they may just lay it all out to you and you may be like okay I'm picking up that like you're going to get frustrated with someone for giving you advice or telling you the truth but I mean you ask for it because I'm picking up that like you're going to want someone's opinion or someone's advice Okay, I'm picking up that someone is giving you a choice. Like either you you must act right, or they aren't going to talk to you no more, or they're cutting you off. There may be some choices with relationships, or maybe you feel as if something is being a double standard. Maybe you are allowing for the double standards to be in the relationship, or whatever the case may be. Some of you 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 may be debating on two people during this time. So that's really, really interesting. But the overall theme for you, wisdom, tying into the queen of swords. So honestly, you must learn from your experiences. You must understand everything that you went through. Please think outside the box. I feel like you must be mindful of your journey during this time. And you honestly must use your knowledge. I feel like you need to be loyal to something. And you need to... Be mindful of your position and if you want to be a liar, if you want to be um, a wingman, if you want to be a good person, if you want to be a player, like what role do you want to play? Okay. And how do you want to be perceived during this week? Well, let's see what's going on for my um, Taurus. Okay, so off the gate, I'm picking up that some of you, like, you are single. I'm picking up that you're thinking more about your finances and you're thinking about more of your stability. I feel like you need to discipline yourself when it comes to your anger and to your responsibilities. You must be aware of yourself. And I feel like you need to have manners and morals. You need to be mindful of the things that, that you were taught. Um... Some of you, like, maybe you feel as if others aren't raised right. Maybe you're seeing how children are and you're like, oh my God, we would have got smacked upside the head back in our day if, if we talked to our parents like that or if we disrespected someone else like that in front of our parents. I feel like you're seeing something being disrespected. Maybe you feel disrespected or maybe you're disrespecting someone and I feel like there's someone around you that's going to be like, no, you can't act like that. You can't say that. You can't do that. I feel like someone is correcting you. Or maybe you're asking for advice and someone is saying, yeah, you, you fucked up or you did something wrong. Or maybe you feel as if someone is like you're questioning someone's loyalty or someone is questioning your loyalty. I feel like you feel as if you don't matter to someone.
I'm also picking up that many of you like you want to look nice and you want to you want to give off this image that you are fine but I feel like deep down inside you just feel um, you just feel burdened and weak for some of you Please take this time to heal yourself and be mindful of your emotional side during this time. I honestly feel like you need to be careful of you wanting perfection during this time. Take this time to understand yourself. I'm picking up on guilt. Maybe you're guilty within something or maybe someone is throwing something up in your face. I'm picking up on arguments or you're dealing with someone who can't let something go like they're talking about things that has happened I feel like there can, there's a lack of communication there's some weirdness going on um I feel like you're you're dealing with a hypocrite maybe you are a hypocrite or like this someone is just doing too much you may be dealing with a water sign cancer Pisces or Scorpio this may be their sun and moon and other rising or someone who's just really freaking emotional but I'm picking up the like either they are like emotionally blocked like they are avoiding you or they are venting to you and it's annoying or maybe this is you I feel like you seriously need to heal yourself or any situation that's going on within your life okay also trust your intuition New beginnings. I feel like something has gone out of your life and now you feel free. But it's like you you want it back. Like you're missing something. You're missing someone. You wish you can go back in time or and change something. I feel like you don't trust something. You you want to redo something again. But I feel like the guardian angels, they're like, no, have faith in this thing that has happened. I feel like there was recently a separation. Whether you separated from someone or you're moved or like you cut some friends off i just feel like you know it was it was meant to happen but i'm seeing new activities coming into your life new insight new joys um you feel more carefree do be careful of you going into life just lollygagging and just not thinking about the consequences i will say okay overall theme for you oh new beginnings this is the full card in the right away so new beginnings are seriously waiting for you i feel like you just need you must appreciate like this loss okay like maybe it hurts you maybe you feel weird after it but i'm picking up that like you need to bounce back and just be like hey this shit happened for a reason good things or weird things don't last forever and I just have to be thankful of it. Like, always thank your God for every single thing that has happened to you. Like, if you got a flat tire, just say, my divine God, I'm thankful that this happened. Because who knows? Like, maybe if you would have kept driving, like, you would have gotten the wreck. Like, things happen, you know? Shit happened for a reason. So, thank your God and your angels for the good and the bad stuff, all right? So, picking up the, like, this is going to be really good time for you to be thankful. And you will see new and beautiful things come into your life. So let's see what's going on for my gems. <sighs> okay, I'm picking up some of you like you may get sick or like you're you're having this victim mentality or you are unsure of something. You feel like you don't matter. You feel like people have left you out to dry. You feel you feel abandoned. I'm picking up that like you want help, but help is around you. Like you are overlooking help. You're overlooking stability you're overlooking i'm picking up on a compass so many of you like you are moving or there's i said this for your um your mid-monthly like you must be mindful of your direction your destination like child i don't want to talk about that no more i don't but honestly i feel like have faith that everything will be okay and that you will be fine there may be some money issues for some of you. You may feel a lack of security. Maybe you have to pay on some bills. I do see some unexpected expenses for some of you. Um, 
and I, like I said I do feel like you may get sick but you will be okay yeah you may get sick also be careful of STDs if you are in a relationship and if you expect your partner is cheating on you I am picking up on some infidelity there's some restrictions you feel like you can't move you feel like you have no choice to do stuff you feel weird you you feel hurt you feel confused and picking up that many of you like brighter note you're gaining a breakthrough like you're you're like look I'm tired of feeling this way I am going to do things on my own I'm going to bring happiness into my life I'm changing my mindset I'm going to be good many of you like you are getting rid of this weird energy <sighs> do be careful of you allowing for your past demons and past lovers to come back within your life also be careful of shady people as well okay so there may be some divorce breaks within relationships or some obligations false paperwork shady like I said earlier shady business people you may be dealing with someone who you cannot read during this time or maybe like you feel as if you aren't understanding yourself you feel like you don't you keep going back and forth within your brain one minute you want to do this and the next you don't I feel like honestly like you just need to get out of your head I'm picking up like that some of you like you may go behind someone's back and snoop and or maybe someone is going behind your back and spying on you I'm just picking up on truth coming to the light but it's like you're upset by the truth I mean you asked for it or you know you went and you looked for it so I mean stuff happens but I also feel like many of you like you may be in a situation where you are blinded by something and I feel like you know you're you're going to see the truth you're going to see the reality of something and you're going to be like wow this has been going on I did not know but I feel like many of you like you are aware of some false energy so I mean it is what it is um I do see some legal issues yeah, some legal issues just going on. This week just seems really weird and it seems mental. Like, you're going to have to be mentally strong to overcome this weirdness, okay? But overall theme, yeah. Patience and planning. I feel like you just need to be aware of everything that's going on. I feel like you do need to be patient. And I feel like you need to just plan everything out. Do not rush. Do not be spontaneous Sally and want to do things in the spare of the moment because I feel like it's not going to work in your favor okay um I do see some car accidents for many of you or like unexpected bills or like you're trusting the wrong people or like r wrong timing or weird timing for some of you okay and you're going to see something that like you really didn't want to see but you needed to see it or you needed to experience it to understand i'm picking up that like you are going to go through a heartache or you're going to go through a tough lesson because of your actions but i mean it's all a growing process and you will be okay but let's see what's going on for my cancers for this week okay so i'm picking up on a sassy person coming into your life there may be a fire sign aries leo and sagittarius is this may be their sun, their moon, and their rising. They're really sassy. They're really spontaneous. They're really, really sexy. They have a lot of charisma going on with them. I feel like there's a lot of sexual attraction with this person. Mm, you like their attitude, but I'm thinking of that this person, they are... I'm picking up on, like, either you aren't satisfied or this person isn't satisfied or this person isn't going to be in your life for a long time. Because I'm picking up that like, egos are going to clash. There's going to be some oddness going on. Yeah, this may be more of a lust kind of relationship. Or maybe like you aren't going to see eye to eye in the long run. Um, I'm picking up that like this person, they're in your life for a reason. So understand what's going on. I'm also picking up on worries like you regret something you're thinking about someone you 
you, you're missing someone or you're missing how things used to be. I'm also speaking of the like you need to be mindful of com uh, communication and promiscuous partners. Like if you're just looking for sex, let someone know that you're just looking for sex. I'm picking up on an argument really, really soon with someone who is really opinionated and they do not sugarcoat anything. Be mindful of your spending. I feel like you need to make room for new things subconsciously. Clean out your room. Clean out your closet. Um, I feel like you aren't budging. You aren't budgeting. I feel like you need to open up or you need to be realistic with something or you need to be sincere. Like if you are starting a new relationship, I do feel like you're still holding on to past baggage of a previous relationship and this will affect the new relationship. Um, I'm also picking up on security as well. Like you're, you're just holding on to things like you don't, you don't really want to change. I feel like there's a principle of something that you don't want to change, but I feel like you need to change it. So be mindful of like, like really think about everything that you're dealing with. Um, your mindset, your attitude, uh, your plans, your goals, and um, really ask yourself, okay, what what can I change? What's you know, what can I be more flexible with? I feel like you aren't being flexible during this time, or someone isn't being flexible with you. I feel like some of you you want to bargain for something or you feel as if um you are being overpriced for something or underpriced for something and you're just like uh-uh like you're trying to um bargain with with somebody but i'm picking up that like you aren't really compromising on a price i also feel like you're throwing away something useful like you aren't you aren't respecting something or you didn't respect something or someone isn't respecting you. I also feel like there's a lack of security within something, whether it's a relationship or maybe a lack of finances or maybe there's extra expenses coming out or like you're losing money or money is dwindling down. Legal issues coming into your life, paperwork. Um, I'm picking up on like things being mailed to you like legal issues being mailed to you like unexpected prices and you're like what the hell um I, i'm picking up that like you need to be fair like if you are dealing with someone i feel like you do need to compromise with them and like you need to be more flexible with them and i feel like so i'm really tired and i feel like you need to be mindful of like double standards Really, there may be separations or some breaks when it comes to relationships, or there was a break with them within a relationship. I do feel that like you just seriously need to be more understanding this week. It's what I'm picking up on. Like negotiate the best way that you can, but I feel like you need to meet in the middle some of you like you may be really stubborn during this time and like you just want things your way okay so do be careful about that or maybe you feel this way about someone else so do be um patient and careful with all of this going on okay because i feel like something is going to bite you in the ass or you're going to miss out on a really good opportunity because you're still holding on to something or someone or it's like you don't want to compromise but overall theme for you guys for this week intuition trust your intuition trust what your guardian angels are showing you please pay attention to your dreams i feel like many of you like you need to be mindful of um life okay because of her necklace her necklace is the meaning of over um of the flow of life okay so many of you like maybe you want to start a family maybe you want a relationship some of you you may be meeting a twin flame or a soulmate during this time it may be negatively karmic or really positive karmic but i feel like you just need to be mindful of like all that's going on and what your guardian angels are trying to tell you i feel like many of you like you're on 
a journey, a new journey, a new chapter, a new, you need a new mindset. Because some of you, like, you're starting new things with old actions, old agendas, old mindset, and it's just like you aren't getting anywhere and you're wondering why. But let's see what's going on for my Leos. Okay, so many of you, you're thinking about yourself. You're thinking about finances during this time. The finances are coming in. New opportunities for finances are coming in. New jobs are coming in. Not new jobs. New love is coming in, I wanted to say. Maybe new jobs. So I said jobs three damn times, okay? <laughs> um, I feel like many of you, like, you're taking better care of yourself. Just be careful of you overindulging on processed foods or, like, junk foods. I also feel that like you need to drink more water. This is going to be a really good time for you to see things turning in your favor. Just be mindful of your energy and be thankful. I feel like your guardian angels are blessing you with some good karma this week. So many of you, like you are starting a new chapter. There's a new beginning, especially like if you've been, I feel like I heard windfall. There's a windfall of something coming into your life. And I feel like this is really, really positive, especially like if things have been really really weird in your life okay and you've been depressed or you've been sad or you've been unsure about something or you felt stuck i feel like things are turning in your favor um i'm also picking up that like you need to be careful of you feeling abandoned or you feeling as if no one is listening to you because i feel like you are being heard i just feel like you need to be mindful like not everyone needs to know your business not everyone needs to un like know what's going on with you i feel like you need to be mindful of who you tell your issues with okay i'm also picking up the like you need to be careful of you having this what was me pity party someone owes me something mentality because you aren't going to get anywhere with this but brighter days are coming for many of you a new f a new fresh start for many of you so that's really awesome you're starting something new because something new was coming into your life. Okay, I'm picking up that you must sacrifice something. So since new things are coming in, out with the old and with the new, you must get rid of something, okay? Um, this may be habits. This may be a mindset. This may be a person. Um, this may be... I'm picking up on... Um, you need to be mindful of what your God or your angels are trying to tell you, what they're trying to show you. This is a really big karmic and spiritual time for many of my Leos. So I do feel like you do need to be mindful of like the energy and like the things that you say and the things that you wish for because they are going to come true. Yes, yeah, so like you you pretty much have control this week is what I'm picking up on. But I will say like you need to be careful of you being a of you being a hypocrite during this time or like Or like you can't um, follow through with something or maybe you feel as if someone isn't following through for you. But I'm picking up on like some sacrifices seriously must be made. Um, I'm also picking up to like you're cutting ties to something. And like you feel more free. You feel like you have more room to grow. You feel like things are really working in your favor. Because, like, many of you, like, you have let something go and, like, you're like, oh, my God, why didn't I let this person or this thing go weeks or months ago or years ago? I feel so much fresher. So, that's really, really cool. I like that energy. I'm also picking up on a letter, a postcard, a post letter. Maybe you feel posted on something. Maybe you feel stuck on something. Be I feel like there's someone of your past and they're still stuck on you okay and this would be a karmic relationship and this is someone who you've known for maybe four years or four months or you've met them in April but the overall theme for my Leo's authority so I do feel like many of you like you must stand your ground you may be placed in a situation where you feel as if someone is being really, really mean or being really hurtful or like they're talking bad or talking down upon you. But I feel like you need to stand your ground and you need to let them know you aren't about that pushover life, okay? Um, I also feel 
that many of you like you are gaining some sort of authority or like people are trusting you and you feel this power or you feel this great need to be a leader or to help someone so you may lead the pack my leos yes you may lead the pack this week so that's really, really cool but i'm picking up that like you're gonna be good you're gonna be all right don't even worry about if you have any haters if you have any weirdness going on like People can be petty sometimes, so it is what it is. It is what it is. So hopefully everybody enjoyed this mini weekly. Enjoy yourself. Have awesome, awesome, awesome week. Um, take care of yourself, and I will see you boys next month. Bye.